Okay, so this video is going to show you how to create a class, how to add things, and how to edit the master class. Okay, so first of all, go to your course. I'm using my sandbox to show you, but go to your course that you want to make. Okay, the 28 class. And I'm going to show you, if you have anything in it, go to settings, and then reset the course content. And it will ask you, it'll be like, warning, are you, you're going to delete the inside of this class. So make sure that the title is what you want it to be, you know, that you didn't you put it in the wrong course. And then just say reset. It just empties out if you have something in there that you didn't, you know, you started this already. It's better to have it empty because then it, you can duplicate and I accidentally duplicated mine. That's why I have two of everything and it makes a mess. But, so anyways, your class is empty. This is the course you want to be in for your course. Okay? So now you're going to import course content. It was on the right there. So in order to find that, I had to go to settings, and then on the right it said import course content. I'm going to copy a Canvas course. Now you're going to all, we're going to share this master course, and it is, let me see where it is, right here, shared MAT0028 template. And that's where I thought me and you and Julia could all um, put things in this master template this semester and make it really nice for everybody. And then that could be a nice place for a resource for all the people in the future semesters. So the first time, since your thing is completely empty, you're just going to copy the whole template. And it takes like maybe three or four minutes. So I'm going to turn this off for a second. Well, you can see it's running. And then you just wait. After a few minutes, it'll say completed. And now when you hit home, you're going to see it's loaded everything up. Okay. So this is what mine looks like. And you can edit it the way you like it and make it your own. Okay. And when you go into modules, you'll see I set it up. Um, like like I did in the sample syllabus, uh, except for um, I'm not assigning the modules. I decided on this 28 class, so it was too much. So I'm not going to assign the modules. So the modules are included at the bottom here, but I don't have them published. So you'd have to uh, publish them, and then you'd have to move them into an assignment group. So if you want to do that, let me know. But I have them right now currently not published and not in an assignment group. Okay. So our class, our welcome page is already set up. You can edit it the way you like it. And then the same thing with your About Your Instructor page. You can edit that, may add whatever you want, pictures. Course schedule, I copied in just the, the, the sample course schedule that I made earlier for the course shell. So this is what the dates are already set up like. If you want to use it, you can. If not, you can just move things around. And if you want to do a master date change, I'll send you the link. Or you can combine my office and I'll show you how to do it. And here is the textbook. This is the, the entire textbook. It has it linked online. It has it linked uh, where you can buy it. And it has it linked as a PDF. So it has many ways for the students they can do the whole textbook. So there's no, nothing held back. And then where can I get help? I have the resources of the, the Mass Spa. Um, the tutoring, and then I have my care coach I thought I have on there. I don't know what this about your instructor. Oh, that's just a, the general one. Okay. And then I also listed, I copied this from the other class, the um, general ones that, for videos. Okay, and this is just that tells them how to enter things into the homework, those odd things. This I added, it's an, a quiz, and you can assign it or you can unpublish it. But it really worked well for my 1033 class, so I thought, you know what the heck. So it'll come as a quiz. It's an ungraded quiz, but they think it's like a quiz. And it only asks a couple questions. It asks the best number to reach you at. Why are you here at Valencia? What's your major? This is my first semester of Valencia. And then anything they want to share with me, whether they fail the class, what their commitments are, anything they want to share. And I was shocked how many people put a lot of stuff on there. Now I don't have to deal with index cards anymore, and I have their phone number right here sitting waiting for me in the, uh, in the Canvas course. All right, so I set mine up 
based on the schedule weekly. So I rearranged it from the one we kind of talked about that's in the commons. So this one actually now has it every week. And um, you can see, let me do a student view so you can see what it looks like. So you can always do a student view from home and then hit student view. Okay. So you can see now if a student enters, and they can enter there or from the left bar, they're going to go down and they're going to scroll down to week one. And week one, you can see, has all the textbook and videos, resources, and then I made a separate bar for weekly assignments. Okay. Now, I'm not using, you can see, the 1.1 .1 to 1.7. I'll go over that as we need it, but I'm not assigning it as a homework assignment because it's just too much. It's just too much. And I don't want to focus on adding decimals when really that's an 18 objective. Instead, we'll work on it if they need it, and I can open up those uh, resources if they need them. I might add them actually to a, a pre-week one module, and I think, in fact, I might move them there for my own class, and then that way if people want them, I'll put it at the end for resources. But for now, I didn't publish them. That's why they're not showing. So you can see every week has, has the textbook, videos, and then uh, the same thing here, textbook, and right now there's no videos you can see here. That's because I'm going to show you some sections we don't have videos from the way we've imported it from iMathAS. So I want to show, show you what I want to do there. So leave student view. Okay, so for example, 1.8 didn't have anything in our iMathAS videos. And so I went ahead and added something in here. So what I've done is I've created blank pages for the ones that don't have anything yet in them. Um, and I thought, as we're finding videos, we can put them in the master and then just import them into our class. And that way we all have them. If you just let us know, we'll just copy them all. You know, if you, if you add videos to 1.9, because there are none, check the master first because of, you know, make sure there are, are none. But if you add some, do it to the master and then import it to your videos. And then that way you can tell all of us to do the same thing. We can just import the videos. <laughs> so I want to show you how to do that. So say you want to add some videos. So I like to go to Math is Power for You. That's a great resource. And that's where everybody seems to be getting them from in the department because they're, they're closed captioned. Any videos we have have to be closed captioned. So if you type in Math is Power for You in your URL, it brings you to this guy's uh, web page. And then I checked, I checked, I checked pre-algebra because I figured it was the, probably the lowest one as far as what we're going to need. So, for example, 1.9 is on all the properties, and we don't have anything right now. So I'm going to hit Control-F, and Control-F is where you find words on a page. So I typed in distributive, and I found, oh, here's a great video on introduction to the distributive property. And you can kind of look through it, make sure it's what you want it to be, okay? So whatever it is, then you're going to copy the URL, okay? So I just highlighted it and said Control-C. Now back to your course. All right, so we're going to do this in the master course, okay? So I'm going to go back, not to my course, but to the master course. This shared template that we're going to share. Okay, and go to the modules, and I'm going to find 1.9, the one that's blank. Okay, I see it. There it is. So if I come in here <laughs> in the master, I can press edit, and all I need to do is take that URL that I copied and hit control V. And you can see it's going to create that video right there. And then you want to make sure you say save. So now we've got this little resource video for about distributed property. Okay? So we're doing this in the master class, right? So I'm going to go back to that page. I'm going to find that 1.9. You can go to the module or you can just come this way. <laughs> and I'm just going to edit because it's no longer blank, so I'm just changing it. You could do it in the module there, or you could just say it here and save it, okay? So the three dots on the right always show you where you can 
save and edit. So I'm going to show you in case you didn't like it that way. You can come into the modules. You can go down to the page you want to uh, change the name of it. And the same three little dots appear here on the right. So for example, for this one here, they're gone now because I already did it, but you could have just gone in here and said edit and then also changed it so it didn't say blank anymore. And then I'm going to publish it. All right. So I've changed the master. That way we don't have to all be looking for videos. And then I'd probably shoot you an email. Hey, the master has videos for these, these sections if you want to copy them into your class. So I want to show you how to copy them. Okay. So I sent an email to myself and said, hey, I added videos into 1.9. Okay. So I'm going to go into my course. Where is my course? Oh, it's right there. And I'm going to go to modules. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to do that yet. I'm going to go into settings. And I'm going to import course content. And I'm going to copy a Canvas course. I'm going to look for the shared master course because that's where we're going to put things we fix in our class. Okay, and instead of saying all content, I'm going to say select specific content. That's really important. You don't want to co copy everything into your class. It will duplicate it again. Okay, and I'm going to select content. I'm going to choose that page. And I notice when you do this, the first one is always at the top, the one you just did. And then go down to the very bottom and hit select content. And it's going to... Now import just that one little piece that we we have updated. So now it's done, and so now we should be able to find it. Now it's a page we haven't put it anywhere. So I'm going to go into my modules, and I'm going to go wherever I want it to go, and I'm just going to add it. So I'm going to say plus sign. And then I'm going to use a new page. And I'm going to find the one I just did called 1.9 Instructional Videos. Now, you notice there's two. One is blank and one is, uh, has something in it. Choose the one that has something in it and say Add Item. Okay? And it's going to put it at the bottom of week one. because That's where I told it I want it imported. Okay? So I'm just going to drag it up to where it belongs under Resources. And you'll see there's already one there that says blank. I'm going to remove that because I don't want two of them. And I forgot to do this, but on the master, I'll fix it. But I was always um, indenting so that the videos are over a little bit. So this should be indented. You can go over here on the right and say increase indent. And that way, all of our videos and our resources are um, the videos and the information sheets are indented one, and our book is left justified. So that's how we can always be updating the pages. And you can see there's a lot that are unpublished that are video pages. So, I mean, there's we can add more than one video. Really, there should be more than one video. It should be whatever we're talking about. So if that's property of real numbers, hopefully I'll have a chance to add in, you know, whatever sections, whatever thing, community property, and whatever else it talks about in that section. But um, just things that we're talking about, though. Some, stuff, some, some sections have more than we're going to talk about. So I'm going to really just look for the objectives that we need to hit. But for example, I added in for 1.8, we didn't have any videos on, um, on the uh, square root. And so I'm going to add that. I, it should already be in the master, but just to show you that, that I went ahead and added that one too. But it should already be fixed for you. But the same thing, after I added it, I should have just said, go ahead and import it. And now at least we have one video on square roots because there was really nothing on square roots right, you know, to help our students. So I'll stick it right there and I will increase the indent. So anyways, so that is how you're going to add um, the, the template into your class and then you can do whatever you want with it. Um, I have the schedule here, like I said, so you can modify it the way you like yours. My syllabus is in there. You can modify it the way you like it. You like it. I just add it as a link. So I edit it, and then I add it as a link. Um, I have never used attendance, but Julia, I don't know if you've used it, but um, Eve uses it, and she said she likes it. So I'm going to.